at the end of the day, when we give information to our children, we inoculate them against disaster consequences. In a seaside town in Japan, there was a group of high school students who recently had disaster resilience education. And in March of 2011, they felt the ground shake beneath their feet. At that point, they knew that an earthquake had happened and that they were at risk for being victims of a following tsunami. So at that point, they decided to evacuate. Students evacuated themselves. They started working their way up to higher ground. They stopped at the elementary school across the street, gathered those children, and took them with them. They passed the first mass evacuation point that they came to. They had determined it wasn't high enough to be safe from any incoming floodwaters. So they passed a second, and they finally made it to a third, which they felt was appropriate. In that town of about 3,000 people, 1,000 people died that day. Only five of them were school children. This is actually called the miracle of Kamashi. It's really amazing what children can do when they're given the right amounts of information. My name is Lauren Steenstra, and I'm a senior manager for policy and research with the Arlington County Department of Public Safety Communications and Emergency Management. I'm also the program director for Hurricane Arlington. Thank you for Hurricane Arlington is a summer camp designed for girls who are between ages 13 and 17. Um, it's an enrichment camp that provides career exploration as well as disaster skills. It includes a follow-on series of activities that we call the Aftermath, and it allows us to continue to engage with our students over a period of about a year. So all in all, it provides a uh, one-year experience that allows girls to grow their leadership skills, their life-saving skills, and their ability to be successful in any career they choose. We had girls from all over the county, which means they come from very different economic backgrounds. Uh, we also had girls from multiple religions, multiple races. We had girls with special needs. We had girls with special family situations. We even had a Syrian refugee. We aren't able to put a whole lot of energy into a single individual. However, with experiences like Hurricane Arlington, when we provide a really significant, energized, dynamic experience, we really bring to bear excitement. And that's something that's hard to manifest in emergency management unless you have an incident. So we gave these girls something they really enjoyed, and they're sharing it with people we would otherwise not be able to reach. At the end of the day, we now have 24 girls who know CPR. They know how to use a fire extinguisher. They know how to spot dangerous weather and have a significant amount of skills that really help keep our community safe. Not only that, now they know how to handle interview questions with poise and confidence, know how to work in a team, they understand communication skills, have stress management skills, and a lot of what I've described can be very stressful, on, especially on a young girl, and they'll have techniques to make sure that they stay of sound mind and uh, are able to work through what they're experiencing. These are our future emergency managers, they're our future first responders, they're our future public health nurses. These girls are our future, and I'm really excited to have contributed to that.